Nothing like hearing from Ed Woodward to cheer you up during the quarantine, is there? Woodward was speaking to United Fans Forum last week and he tried to pour cold water or maybe just a reality check onto the transfer rumours that are surrounding United at the moment. I'm going to run through all of his recent comments that he said there and discuss whether I think and whether they do affect United's pursuit of Jadon Sancho this summer, which would obviously be a 100 million plus signing. I'll run through all those comments have a little bit more detail looking into the background of those comments. Make sure you subscribe down below if you're new. But let's talk about Ed Woodward and his comments about United's activity coming up this summer. First things first, what did Ed Woodward actually say? This is what he said to a United fans forum last week. He said nobody should be under any illusions about the scale of the challenge facing everyone in football. And it may not be business as usual for any clubs, including ourselves, in the transfer market this summer. As ever, our priority is the success of the team, but we need visibility of the impact across the whole industry, including timings of the transfer window and the wider financial picture, before we can talk about a return to normality. My initial reaction to those comments from Woodward are, that's fair enough. That's 100% expected to hear Woodward say that because the financial crisis that will be caused by the coronavirus is going to blow the 2008 financial crisis out of the water, which really affected the banking sector. But this is going to affect every single sector of business, from the smallest independently owned shops to the largest corporations in the world. Billions are going to be wiped off the value of every country's economy and the businesses inside them, including Manchester United. United will... I wouldn't say they'll be tight with their money, but it's just it's such a massive financial crisis that it's unprecedented and it's going to cause all sorts of problems. So if our pursuit of Jadon Sancho wasn't complicated enough because of how big a signing it is, going into it after the coronavirus and this new this new economy that we're going into, effectively, it's going to be a completely different world after the coronavirus from a business sense, certainly. And that adds complications. But does Woodward's comments there saying that it might not be business as usual for Manchester United, does that rule out our pursuit of Jadon Sancho? There's a few things I think we can discuss. Firstly, you know, our pursuit of Aaron Wan-Bissaka, it was longer than we all wanted to. We got our man in the end. And our pursuit of Bruno Fernandes, sorry, was even more painful. We got our man in the end. But if we all thought those two transfer sagas were painful, I think we're in for a nasty surprise with Jadon Sancho. I think this saga is going to be 10 times worse than anything that we've had with Bruno Fernandes or Paul Pogba or Aaron Wabasaka before because of the complications of the market. So it's definitely not going to be a clean cut, here's your 120 mil, shake hands, Jadon Sancho in a United shirt. This one is going to drag because you've got two clubs there in a situation and a new transfer market because of how the economies are they're both going to be stubborn. They're both going to want exactly what is the best for their club. And Dortmund, they've got the precedent of watching what happened with United and Sporting Lisbon. Sporting dug their heels in. United tried to bully them. We didn't really bully them. They got their 47 million up front, rising to 67.7 million. Same sort of thing happened with Crystal Palace, although I feel like we got a really good deal there. And given how good Bruno Fernandes is, I think we got a good deal there too. But Dortmund can just look at how clubs have treated United in the transfer market and they will know exactly what to do and they've sold their biggest players and their stars Lewandowski, Kagawa, loads of players over the years and they replace them so they'll be used to this situation of one of their biggest stars leaving and the market circus that comes around it so United have to be very well prepared for that and something that I think is really important to consider in all of this is the financial situation of both clubs now the whole financial situation will be massively different because of what's happened. But what are the latest financial results from United and of Dortmund? And crucially, how much cash do both clubs have? Because for me, in such an unpredictable and volatile market, which the economy will be after the coronavirus, I think cash will be king because cash is predictable. It's there, it's in your hands. You know what you've got and you know what you can deal with and what you can do. Now with the United, we had a hundred million pounds in the bank in our latest financial results going up to 31st of December 2019. Obviously since then we signed Bruno Fernandes, but that's a healthy amount of cash in the bank. What about Borussia Dortmund? Their latest financial results go up to the 30th of September 2019 and they had 30 million euros in the bank. So cash-wise, United do have an advantage there. Something that is also worth considering is the fact that United have still got 400 million pounds worth of debt 
and Dortmund are debt free. So there won't be that sort of pressure on them to make money to help pay and service these debts that United will have. So there's pressures at United that Dortmund don't have. And I don't really think that United will be able to bully Dortmund because Dortmund have got the examples and the precedent that the Sporting Lisbon and Bruno Fernandes situation showed them, that United paid up in the end. No matter how long they tried to drag it for, United paid up. And I don't really think they're gonna be letting Jadon Sancho go on the cheap. I think there's a real onus on this situation. If Jadon Sancho wants his move to United and he wants to push it through and he really, really does, I think he's gonna to have to exert his own pressures. I'm not saying that he needs to put in a transfer request, but pressures from the Jadon Sancho camp would make it an easier situation for United to deal with. And I think it's such an unprecedented situation that we can't really predict what's going on. And I understand what Edward Wood is saying there when he said we need to know about the impact of the financial crisis. We need to know when the bloody transfer window is going to be open because that, how can you prepare for something if you don't know when it is? And that's the situation facing everybody. And you know, big transfers are complicated anyway. But if Jadon Sancho really wants this move to United, and United really want this move for Sancho, and Dortmund are willing to sell, then a compromise will be found. There will be a middle ground to please all parties. But unfortunately for United fans, we all have to accept that it's going to be a hell of a drawn out saga. And because of the complications of the coronavirus, it's put this transfer into a, a new market, an unpredictable market, a brand new market. It's a sort of like a post coronavirus footballing world where things are going to operate differently. And I do think that the idea that a transfer of like Neymar to PSG levels is completely unrealistic now. And of course, cash isn't everything because transfers don't specifically mean if he costs 120 million pounds, 120 million goes out of the account straight away. The transfer can be staggered with an upfront cash payment and then staggered payments over a three, four, five years. Clubs often do that, but it's complicated. And I'm not surprised to hear Woodward saying these things because that's basically a reality check. He's, he's seen the report. I don't know why he's doing it though, if I'm honest. I don't, I don't know why you try and take the optimism away from football fans right now when there's absolutely no football to be optimistic about. But that said, Woodward, I don't really like a lot of what comes out of his mouth. And I think he knows that by now, if he's ever watched one of these videos, which I don't think he has. But I don't think Woodward's comments rule out a move for Sancho by United. I think it's a fair comment on the complications that this market will be post the coronavirus. It won't just be like June to August, a normal transfer window and normal things going on. Hell, we don't even know when the transfer window is going to be. So I think his comments are fair. I don't think it rules it out. I think it's fair to understand and look at the financial situation of Dortmund and United. And unfortunately, I think we should all be expecting this saga to drag on for a hell of a long time. And hopefully it will end in the same way that wan Bissaka saga ended, the same way the Bruno Fernandes saga ended, with both players joining United. But let me know how you think about the transfer market. It's not just about, do you think Sancho will join United? What do you expect football to be like in the transfer market after the coronavirus? Will everybody be holding their cash close to their chest? Will transfer values actually go down again? Or will the market come back and be just as inflated as it was before? Let me know what you think in the comments below. I hope this doesn't rule out a move for Sancho. I don't think it does, but I do think it's a fair comment from Woodward to make us all realize that what we're going into is not what we left behind. It's going to be different. How different, nobody knows yet. And that is the problem. Make sure you subscribe down below if you're new. Take it easy.